it's Anthony back with another video here on single and placing. <laughs> um, as you can see, we are doing an unboxing and I'm sure you've seen a lot of this size box coming across your uh, video feed over the past <laughs> few days. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club and it's their mystery box. So um, my video that goes up tomorrow is gonna be another Diamond Art Club unboxing. And I mentioned in that video, how do you want me to do the mystery box? Do you want me to do it all in one big unboxing? Like a lot of people have been doing, they're opening each kit and showing the canvases and the drills and the ABs for all of the kits that are in here. Or would you prefer me to just hold off and introduce the kits one by one, just as I normally do on Tuesdays? Um, so I'm kind of going to do both. So I asked for your opinion, but I'm just so impatient. I can't sit here and look at this box until, you know, Wednesday or Thursday once I start to get some feedback. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do both. Um, we are going to do just a quick, just reveal of the kits that I, I got in this. And the reason I decided to split this up is because I've been seeing some people get some varying kits. Like some folks are getting certain things in their, their you know, whatever, box one or box two. Other people are getting other things. Um, so I think it's just a little bit of a mixed bag. I, I think there's some consistency for the most part, um, but there are some onesie twosie kind of kits that are a little off from others. So this is really just to kind of reveal or show what I got in my particular box. Um, I believe I'm in box one, but I think that's just all over the place at this point. Um, let me know if you know different, but it seems like people that have box one might be ha might have one kit that's different or one or two. Box two, I know some people were only getting five kits. I, it's just, it seems like it was a little hectic, maybe on the Diamond Art Club side. Um, but we're going to go ahead and dive into this. Just reveal what I have in here. So it's going to be a fairly short video. And then I'm going to incorporate the actual kits one at a time, just like I normally would, or even some special edition unboxings, just extra unboxings throughout the week. But I'm not going to crack them all open today. Um, and I think my reasoning for that is I know that people can't get this exact box anymore. So might as well just show the kits one at a time as I normally do. Diamond Art Club has announced on their um, Facebook group that they will be releasing some of these never before seen kits a la carte on the website over the course of the next week or a couple of weeks. So you may have the opportunity to snag these one by one. So I think it might be better to introduce them one by one. So you'll see these coming through my channel over the course of the next few weeks, few months, however I decide to work them in. Um, that way you get a chance to really get a good detailed look of each kit. But for now, I just wanted to uh, record kind of a little reveal video and see what I do have in here. I'm gonna, let's see how the camera's looking. I have you sky high, um, so much so that my tripod is starting to tilt because it's just fully extended. Oh, that's pretty good. It's, this would be a straight, technically. That's pretty good, okay. So yeah, I've got you way up in the air, but I'm gonna try to get it close so you can see the images. Okay, um, or the stickers. So let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into this. Um, I know my channel has been very Diamond Art Club heavy recently, um, and it's, that's just because they're kind of the, the diamond painting company I shop with the most. However, expect to see some um, kits from uh, one other brand worked in here, at least that I, that I have right now in my hands. I got my very first Craftably order in. So, okay, I want to flip these over so you can't see them. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so you may be seeing some Craftably kits come through um, sooner than later. So for those of you that are kind of like Diamond Art Clubbed out, um, you'll see some other stuff popping up here and there. Um, but just keep in mind that it really is the company that I frequent the most. So um, I want to start with the free gift and then we'll get into the kits. So this looks like what other people have had. And like I said, so many people have been posting mystery box videos, so it's just like, you, you seen them, you seen them. I just want to um, make sure that there isn't anything different about my kit. So I got the happiness candle. Hopefully you can see that. This is lemon leaf and woods. I have had one other Diamond Art Club candle, and it smelled nice, but they were a little bit pricey per candle, so it's nice that you get a little bonus in here. 
Um, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have our six kits here. It looks like everything's here that should be here. Let's start with the one that's pretty easy to tell because it's got that special box. Um, this is from their Harry Potter collection. This is The Boy Who Lived. It's a 56 centimeter by 79 centimeter square drill canvas. Hopefully you can see that. And then there is the image there. Cool. So it's an interesting interpretation of Harry Potter. It's a little bit softer than you, you may see in other renderings of him. I don't necessarily dislike it, but it certainly isn't my you know, favorite kit in the world. So um, it's cute, it's fine, um, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I got this. You know, it's just kind of like, okay. Um, I, I could see myself doing this for someone that I know in my life that is a fan of Harry Potter, but I don't know if I know anyone that's that into it that I would, you know, sit down and do a full uh, 56 by 79 square for them. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening with this kit. But here's that. Next up, let's just grab from here. I don't want any of them to be flipped. Okay, cool. I don't think any of them are flipped. Okay, picture up. Okay, so we can just start grabbing. So we're just going to start grabbing now. And next one is... Ha! Virus Detected. This is a Randall Spangler kit. Diamond shape is round, and this is an 84 by 51. Hopefully you can see that there. Cool. So this is like one of his dragonling dragons, I think. I don't know. It's a dragon with a computer with the mask on and gloves on. It looks like hand sanitizer next to him. Apollo. <laughs> Dude. He just, well, I got him a new toy. It's an, a big old acorn um, that you can put toys in, and he is loving it. It's peanut flavored, but it is hefty. This thing is like, like thick, and he flings it up in the air, and it just smacks into stuff. Um, okay, so here's... Okay, 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 hold on. Hold on, everyone. Okay, sorry. That thing, is, that toy is so unwieldy, so I had to... I had to... Put up the gate so I can finish this. I don't mind him throwing his toys around in here, but that one's like, that thing weighs a ton. Um, okay, so let me just be totally honest. I would have to say out of all of the popular artists that are on Diamond Art Club, Randall Spangler is my least favorite. Um, I have never really seen any of his artwork that stood out to me. I know he does a couple that aren't these like dragons, but I just nothing's ever appealed to me and out of all of his kits or all of his images I'd say this is the most least appealing kit out of his kits for me um, that's just my personal taste I don't care for it really at all and this one is just yeah yeah so I don't know this feels like a let's we have a ton of this kit and no one's buying it so let's put it in this box kind of kit so who, once again, not sure what's going to happen with that. I don't even know who I would give that to, to be honest. Um, so we'll see what happens there. If you're someone that is just dying for virus detected, make sure to let me know. <laughs> okay, so I think these, uh, we've got one mystery kit and three never before seen kits. So let's go ahead and just flip it and go. So we've got Magic Portals by Enos Guerrero. This is a square-shaped diamond painting kit, 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. There's that. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that artwork there. Um, it's it's uh, basically a woman sitting on top of what looks like some kind of pentagram portal thing. It's kind of a darker image. It's got like some birds or crows in the background. A lot of darker colors. I have seen people with their mystery boxes crack this open and show the canvas. It looks pretty interesting. It's something that I could get into. I'll definitely give it a shot. Once again, not something that is like, a, you know, wow, I must have this, but it is cool. It's a, definitely a cool image, and I'm looking forward to, um, to working on it at some point. So there's that. Okay, now we've got some bigger kits, it looks like. Hmm, which one should we go with? Let's pick the one in the middle. And this is ha, Mystery Kit Fantasy 
dragon. Hopefully you can see that there. This is a square shaped canvas, 70 by 105. Holy moly. And this is by Ann Stokes is the artist. So there's that. This is once again, a kit that I have seen um, opened. Um, and I liked the image looks pretty cool. I'm really curious to see how it comes together as a um, as a mystery kit to see the colors come together. So definitely excited for this one. Um, this goes in the excitement pile. So right now I've got three that are okay and one that I am really excited about. Okay, Ugh. another square. This is called House on the Cliff by Image World, which I'm not sure if that is like the artist's name or if that's just a licensing company. This is a 98 by 70 square drill. These are some big canvases. Um, and here you go. Hopefully you can see that there. This is one that I am super excited to crack open. I love the colors. I'm not a huge landscape person, although they're starting to grow on me. But if I was to pick landscape, this is the type of landscape that I would like to do. And it's really interesting because I have another kit from that company that I mentioned earlier I bought from the, from the first time. One of the two kits I ordered is like... It's pretty close. I I picked it out. I picked up an uh, image that's similar for myself on a different company. So um, there is House on the Cliff, another square drill. So definitely excited for that. And so here's the wild card. Um, let's see which one I got. Ugh. Sunken Ship by Sergio. So this is essentially the six kits that I have seen most frequently in this the first run of boxes or mystery boxes. This is a square drill canvas, 93 by 70, another big one. Hopefully you can see that there. Diamond shaped square, and it's kind of an under the sea theme. Very cool. I haven't yet done an under the sea theme. I Some of them don't really speak to me, um, like the, the ones that are like uh, Chuck Pinson's, where you can kind of see the dolphins under the water and above the water. But this one's a little bit more my speed because you've got the sunken ship in the background. Um, it's really cool. I really like it. This one I'm excited to do. So, all right. So that's it. Six kits from Diamond Art Club. For me, I think the two like fan favorites I feel like those are kind of filler kits in my opinion, and this is no shade um, uh, to Diamond Art Club whatsoever. I mean, this is a great way to clear out some of those kits that maybe just aren't moving as quickly as possible because they need to open up that warehouse space. So this is a really smart idea to get some of those out of there. So I feel like that Harry Potter one and the Virus Detected are just kind of, let's bulk out these boxes, let's create some more value. Um, but I could have absolutely done without them. Um, even if they would have done the Enos Guerrero, the mystery kit, sunken ship, and then the, the cliff one, and a candle for that same price and didn't have the fan favorites, I mean, that's 50 bucks a kit for those large kits. That's still a really good deal. So I, I don't necessarily know if those two, Virus Detected and The Boy Who Lived, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. I may include them in some giveaways, but I'm like, do people even want those? <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to do with them. I, I don't think I'll ever work on them, so I've got to figure out something else. I may just take them over to Goodwill or something like that, and then someone else can enjoy them. And, you know, who knows what they are? You know, I could see a crafter going through Goodwill, or maybe there's a craft thrift store in the Denver area that I could give them to. And someone finding those and being like, Diamond Art Club in the thrift store, what? And really enjoy that. So um, I may do that, just give them away, like really give them away. Because then I don't have to spend money on shipping. So that's that. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members. Let me know what you think about these mystery boxes, what was in them, how they were released all that stuff. Do you think this is something that Diamond Art Club should continue to do? Do you think they should make some tweaks or adjustments? How do you feel about it? Do you think that they should not do them at all and just release the kits like they normally do? Um, I personally really like it. I like the mystery. I like the suspense. I still feel like I got good value for what I received. Even if there was just the three big squares in a candle, that's still, that's still kind of a $200 value to me. So 
Um, you know, some a lot of people mention that it's it's a good chunk of money to put down on something that you don't know that you're gonna like. And I have seen some unboxing videos of people that were rather disappointed with what they received, but that's kind of, I, I don't know, to me it's kind of that's the nature of the gamble. And it's a, once again, I think at the end of the day, it's a way for Diamond Art Club to clear out some kits that maybe aren't moving as well. Um, but for me, that's fine. Maybe in the future ones, those fan favorites or the kits that are moving slowly, maybe it will be a, a surprise and maybe I just didn't see it on the website or I didn't realize how much I'd like it until I got it in my hands and really saw the image. Um, so I could see at some point all six of them really working out for me, um, but this is a good start. I feel okay with what I received. I think there was good value in that box, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. So don't forget to leave those. Like I said, share this content with people that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, be on the lookout for some unboxings of these kits. Maybe not virus detected and maybe not the boy who lived. We'll see what happens. I'd like to leave them in the shrink wrap if I'm going to give them away. Um, but the other four you'll absolutely see unboxed. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, have an excellent rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.